by myself. I'll just wait here.
Welcome back. I thought you might return. If you truly are the child of destiny, there is something I must tell you. No man is truly evil or truly good. There is only the power of evil and the power of good, and all depends on how that power is applied. I know not whether you are the destined one, but I have told you what I need to do. Perhaps the human race has gone too far. It seems that my task in life is done. I shall wait here for the last candle to burn out. It is certainly as foretold.
Here, have some soup. So you've been to the house. You must have seen my son upstairs. He didn't uh, do anything bad to you, did he? Good. You see, I forced my own ambitions on him. When he was just a little boy and wanted to play with his friends, I made him practice the piano every day, every day. Locked him in the cellar and forced him to play from morning till night. And finally, I brought him here to the middle of nowhere so he would have nothing but his piano. But as if that weren't enough, I gave him a drug called Linda. I wanted to give his fingers, his hearing, an extra touch of power. But it was the devil's medicine that I gave him. It put him on edge and brought out the worst in him. I saw it myself one day. I saw him in the barn playing. He was cutting rabbits and birds to pieces and laughing. He saw me then approached me. Mom, he said, and he was holding a burning log in his hand. Mom, I can play the piano really well, he said. I can play really well, Mom. Are you happy now? Then I couldn't believe it. He shoved that burning log right into my face and burned me. And this is what happened. the agony. Only then did I realize for the first time what he had been through. What I had done to him. His pain. Oh God, what am I going to do now? I don't know what to do. interest you in some more soup.
Danny's disappeared again. When I wasn't looking. Where could she have gone? I'll go look for her. Okay. The oh, man upstairs is gone too. I, I don't know what's going on here. Unless... What a pretty butterfly. What's it doing in a place like this? I have to go. What's wrong? Oh my god. What the hell happened here? You better not hang around. Come on. Let's go back downstairs. You all right? I wonder where Janny went. I ran into Kimberly on the way back and she told me she took the snowmobile. You know? I think I have a better idea of what she's like after talking to her. Oh, yeah. I found a stone bridge just north of here. The thing is, the gate is locked and will stay that way unless we can blow it with dynamite or something. It's really too bad. There's a large building in a mountain on the other side of the bridge. There's a weird red glow coming from the summit. I think there's something like an antenna up there. You can bet on it. It could be the source of the signal my team was tracking. I wish I could do something for Kimberly, you know? But she avoids me like the plague. I wish I could do
interest you in some more soup?
I wish I could do something.
looks like an explosive. Wait. We may be able to blow that bridge gate with this. Let me hold on to it for a while.
Laura, Laura Parton, I am the great mother. Awake, my child. The world has begun to turn in. You again. Scared the hell out of me. Almost gave me a heart attack. Let me guess. The yellow light again. We just had some company. I mean, I guess we're the company, but... You know that guy upstairs? His mother came over. She went up to the second floor and still hasn't come down. Even though her weirdo son seems to have wandered off. I don't know what she could possibly be doing up there by herself. What do you think Kimberly is doing?
we could cross to the other side, but I guess there's nothing we can do now except go back into the house. We still can't find Janny. I'm really worried about her now. Did you find anything, Parker? Hey, is that a time bomb? That should take care of the gate. Set it to go off and say, well, it's from here to the stone bridge. Fifteen minutes should be long enough. Hey, just hold on a minute. We haven't even tested this thing yet. Test? Don't be such a wuss. Come on, hurry up. I have a gate to blow up. All right, all right. One, five, zero, zero. Okay, set to go off in 15 minutes. You start cutting it too close, just toss it. Please. Just because it took you 15 minutes to crawl over there on the snowmobile doesn't mean the rest of us are that slow. Five minutes, that's all I need. You want to bet me? I don't play those kind of games. <laughs> Have it your way. Well, I'm impressed. Ooh, I wasn't sure you could do anything. Give me a break. Well, I'm off then. Be good. <laughs> See you soon. Hey, what do you think of her? I, uh, to tell you the truth, I had my doubts about her at one point. I thought maybe she'd already gone floral. Turned into a monster already. I guess I was wrong. She's got a monster inside, all right. But it's a far more terrible kind. It's called loneliness. Everyone has a measure of it inside. But somehow she just can't learn how to keep it under control. And this loneliness is eating her up. Damn. Isn't there anything I can do for her? Maybe if I were a priest, I could offer her faith. If I were a warrior, I could protect her. I'm just, just me. I can't offer her anything. It's been days since that crash, and I... Hey, what time is it? Holy shit! I didn't set it for 15 minutes. I set it for 1,500 hours. Don't you see? I didn't set the thing to go off in 15 minutes. It's set for 3 p.m. There's only five minutes left. Kimberly! Wait, I...
doing? We have to blow this gate. What on earth is going on? You. you said you wanted to help me. I was this close to getting killed. And if I had, it would have been all your fault. I'm so sorry. Engineer. Yeah, right. Murderer is more like it. So you think you can just do what you please with my life. Is that it? You have no idea how glad I am to see you. Get out. It makes no difference to me whether you're here or not. Just get out of my sight. Just get out of here. Sorry about that. Can you do me a favor? This is kind of my lucky charm. I think it's better for Kimberly to have it instead of me. If you don't mind, could you please give it to her? I'm sorry. I know it isn't his fault. But I just went off anyway. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I lost my father when I was very young. He died and left nothing but a huge debt. Every day, the loan sharks would show up and every day they would take it out on my mother I'll never forget finding her that January morning my mother killed herself she put a bullet in her head they showed up that day too and then when they realized they could never lay their dirty hands on her ever again they came after me I grabbed the revolver from my mother's hand and I fired at them. Then I escaped through the window and I ran away. And every night since, that morning has repeated in my dreams. The thing is, I started taking Linda to deal with my dreams. deal with men anymore. <laughs> I, I can't even face him in the same room. That's why when Parker said he just wanted to protect me, no man has ever said a thing like that to me before. I didn't know how to react. But I'm going to apologize to him in the morning. I know I can trust him. And this time, Did I wake you? I'm, well, writing a poem. I thought 
I'd show it to Parker. Do you think he'll read it? Stabbing pains throughout my body. Every time I move my head, every time I raise my arm, I get this constricting feeling. Oh, oh. It's okay. Morning, Laura. <laughs> Parker, I, um, uh, I'm sorry about last night. Stay away from me. <laughs> Look at this. Somehow been infected. I'm still all right. I haven't blossomed yet. I'm still thinking straight, and I can make my own decisions for now. But it's only a matter of time, and I can't risk harming you two. I gotta go. Be all right. You're not like the dinosaurs. You have this and this too. Just know it's never too late. Being human means having free will, and the challenge is making the right choice. Nuclear power can be used to destroy cities or explore out of space. Drugs can be used to cure mental illness or escape from the world. The choices are. It's also true of what you do with your heart. Maybe humanity, every one of us as individuals, is being told it's time to grow up. I'll see you around. Don't die, either of you. No, wait. Hmm. Maybe we could still find a cure. There's no need for you to just leave like this. Do you think you'll miss me when I'm no longer myself? Yes, I will. Will you remember me? Of course. Then, just smile for me. What? Smile for me, Kimberly. That's it. Come on, I, I know you can do it. I went 
to sleep last night after I wrote that poem for him. I never slept so soundly without taking Linda. And I had this dream. I dreamt that I was crossing that bridge with Parker. And on the other side was a fresh new world. A to totally new life. Laura, where's that other bomb? Did he?